Hello dear students, we are on with electrophilic substitution reaction and of the title today we will take the last reaction in the form of Friedel-Craft acylation of toluene. Here we have already shown toluene, we will perform Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. So I will title it as Friedel-Craft, I will write in short as Friedel-Craft acylation a c y l a t i o n acylation reaction in benzene we have already studied the reaction so there if you remember for acylation we chose uh, two reagents one was ch3 cocl and another was ch3 co twice or oh, we did reactions for both the reagents showing their byproducts same thing we'll do over here so you have a sort of revision this is ch3cocl i'll so show you the constitution of ch3 cocl this is ch3cocl and i'll show the constitution of ch3 C O O C O C H 3. So we have two reagents. One is acetyl chloride, and another is acetic anhydride. So these are the two reagents, both will participate equally in the Friedel Craft acylation of toluene. First, let us stop for CH3COCl. We'll perform the reaction of toluene with CH3COCl in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride as a catalyst. It is because of anhydrous AlCl3, we can say that the reaction is Friedel Crafts reaction, right? So, the same reagent in the form of catalyst will take for acetic anhydride reaction as well. So here when we take acetyl chloride and perform reaction with anhydrous AlCl3 at 384 Kelvin that is 111, 111 degrees Celsius at that time the reaction pertaining to the methyl group will proceed. Now this methyl group as you know is the, it is an OP directing group. It is electron donating group so it directs the incoming group on ortho and para positions. So we expect the group which is going to get on the benzene nucleus on ortho and para position. Now see first of all how the electrophile is generated. You know it is carbon and chlorine bond. Out of the two chlorine is more electronegative than carbon. So chlorine pulls away the electron of carbon, attains a minus sign. Carbon loses the electron, attains a plus sign. And as a result you can see CH3CO+. plus or you can say other way COCH3 plus that is aceto group is generated which is your electrophile same thing we'll talk for this but first let us complete this one now CH3CO plus gets attracted towards the pi electron cloud of benzene which is situated above and below its plane so that COCH3 wants to attack the benzene ring but here the methyl group which is already existing has to direct the COCH3 and as you know it is OP directing. This group is willing to get directed accordingly. But what happens in this case, you will have the product where the COCH3 group will get onto only and only the para position, not on ortho. Mind you, just keep in mind, COCH3 gets only and only on the para position, not on ortho, even though methyl can direct on ortho as well as para both. The reason is very simple. You can see this COCH3. It is a huge bulky group. And bulky group, if situated just adjacent on adjacent carbon, it will make the compound unstable and so the stability will be so less that the compound cannot exist uh, at all and due to that you will have only para derivative of toluene over it so you get paramethyl you can name the compound as para the position is opposite to each other 
this is the methyl part so we'll write paramethyl and on benzene when you have cocl3 the compound is known as acetophenone so you can name the compound as paramethyl acetophenone why have we named the parent name as acetophenone it's simple again methyl and cocl3 out of this two which is more reactive of course cocl3 and so that has remained in the parent compound whereas methyl has acted as a functional group so we are naming the compound accordingly we come back to ch3co twice also i will write or you can take ch3cocl or this this is your acetic anhydride when acetic anhydride when the reaction is carried out with acetic anhydride under same conditions same temperature 384 kelvin and same catalyst anhydrous alcl3 The only change will be in the byproduct. Why? Simple. Here you can see CH3CO, CH3CO are the two groups. Both the carbon are bonded to the oxygen because oxygen can form two bonds. But of the carbon and oxygen, you know oxygen is highly electronegative compared to carbon. So this oxygen either pulls the electron of this carbon or this carbon towards it. And as a result, any one carbon loses its electron completely to the oxygen. As a result, carbon attains plus sign because it has lost its electron. Oxygen has gained electron, so it attains minus sign. The plus sign carbon forms the CH3CO plus group that is our electrophile that we require in the reaction aceto group. And that aceto group in the same manner attacks on the benzene nucleus of toluene. Fine. Whereas CH3COO minus combines with the H which got eliminated from the carbon at the para position so in this case of aluminium chloride you can think simply it was cl minus so it combines with the h and over here the byproduct form will be hcl whereas in this case the byproduct form will be ch3 coo minus combines with h so that will form ch3 coos that is acetic acid so the only change that you can consider in this two reactions of toluene with the respective acetyl chloride and acetic anhydride is the byproduct if it is acetic anhydride you have acetic acid if it is acetyl chloride you will have hcl so this is what you get when you have the acylation reaction carried out for toluene so mind you you don't get an ortho derivative you will get only the para derivative so this is all the 10 reactions, 5 pertaining to benzene and 5 pertaining to toluene, we have studied over here. And see that you prepare all the 10 reactions thoroughly. It will help you throughout any of the future organic reactions. The concept will help you a lot. Right? Wish you all the very best and prepare well. See you with some other title in next episode.